Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, you know, David says that it's a myth about the bird seed. Huh, it's just like that story you were feeding him. Talk about a myth. He caught you in a bad time. Yeah, Kendall, he did. Yeah, I guess we all did. I mean, I found you burning your clothes. You know what? I'm busy here, do you mind? Actually, yeah, I do, Bianca. Now talk to me. Jeez. Kendall! What? Now look what you did! I didn't do anything! Yes, you did! God, you messed everything up! With your selfishness and your stupidity! You ruined everything! I was wondering how long you could keep quiet about it. Remember when you told me how fed up you were with me whining about how mom always loved you best? <sighs> Erica would look at you so proud of something that you'd just done. Or I'd see the two of you laughing over something that you just said. And no matter how happy I was, I suddenly felt empty. Now you have to share Erica's attention and you're burned up about it? Well, tough. I have just as much right to stand up there on the altar with our mother as you do. <laughs> That's funny, Kendall. You have no right. Well, I am part of this family, You too. are not part of this family. What have you ever contributed, Kendall? What have you ever done for us? You're the one who started this insanity. Wait, well, I don't even know what you're talking Guards about. at the doorway. None of us free to go anywhere, do anything without an armed okay, escort. No, anyway, All thanks fault. to you. Oh, yes, it is, I... Kendall. You know Michael Camus is free to go wherever the hell he wants, and we're the ones who are prisoners? I'm not responsible yes, for that. You, are. you set it all in motion, Kendall. All for revenge on Mom. You brought him to town. You, you slept with him. You encouraged oh, him. You precious helped Lena, her. Which was oh, you know not what? my fault. He had to force her. He blackmailed her. How the hell did he get you into bed, huh, Kendall? Bought you dinner and drinks? Oh, you, wa you better watch, watch it. it. Watch it? Watch it? Yes. Watch it, yeah. Because you woke up one day and you decided to do the right thing. You decided to help trap the rat. And when was that? Oh, right. That was after you found out that he had cheated on okay, you. you know what? Your pathetic love life you is not my that fault. he tried to rape my mother and, and me. me. And me. He tried to rape me, okay? I am sorry that I ever looked at the man's face, all right? No, no, Kendall, it's not all right. It will never be all right again, because if you hadn't welcomed him into your bed, he never would. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> say it, Bianca, say it. What? <laughs> if it never would have been for me, Michael never would have what? <laughs> what? Say it, Bianca. <laughs> David, what's going on hey. with Bianca? When was the last time you saw her? She's not missing, is she? No, no, not now, not this time. David, you're scaring me. <sighs> Maggie, I'm worried about it. I saw Bianca the other day. She was really upset. She was hysterical. She was so bad that she literally fainted right in front of me. So I took her to the clinic to get checked out. Before we were able to examine her, she disappeared. You know where I found her? Where? On the roof of the clinic. Why? She was standing right on the ledge. I mean, she was so tightly wound that I was afraid she was going to hurt herself. Wait, wait, she didn't try to jump, did she? I can't be certain what she was trying to do. But the next thing I hear, she moves out of Myrtle's boarding house. What? I didn't know about this. Yeah, Maggie, she didn't say a word to anyone. I just spoke to her a little while ago. She's at her mother's. How does she seem? Well, she seems like she's determined to convince everybody that she's fine. You know, that this is just a temporary fallout from her breakup with, with Lena? Wait, she broke up with Lena? When? You see, I'm not that clear about that either. <sighs> Look, that might be the source of all this trouble, and... David, this is really weird because she's my best friend, and, well, I don't know about any of this. Well, now you do. And you want me to go find out what's really going on? If you can't reach out to her, Maggie, who can? <laughs> go on, go on, Bianca, go on. You've accused me of everything else except global warming and the rotten economy. Come on, tell me, what other sin of Michael's are you blaming me for? Tell me, what else did he do to you? Wait. Bianca, Bianca, where, where, where are you going? Bianca! I made a hello. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. I think I understand. I still get it to you. You told me that I was in your head, that you couldn't get rid of me. And obviously, our night together meant a lot to you. As it did to me, of course. But, Bianca, no scenes, okay? God, you are just so incredibly hot. I want to take you 
upstairs and put out the do not disturb sign. Another night, I promise. What the hell are you doing? Well, I was just telling your sister how ravishing she looks. Why don't you get the hell away from us now? Yeah, okay. What did he say to you? Nothing, Kendall. Wait, was he harassing Nothing, you? Kendall. Just forget it, okay? He was he was passing by. It was no big deal. Ladies, there you are. Listen, we're about T minus two minutes away from the rehearsal, and your mother's in the first stages of a meltdown, so. Yeah, well, she's not the only one. Why? What, what, did something happen? No, nothing. Michael Cambius was here, and he was in Bianca's face. Are you kidding me? Are you all right? I'm fine. What did he want? I, I have no clue. Well, did, 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 he, did he threaten you no, or anything? God, please, Uncle Jack, nothing happened, okay? This is just Kendall's way of stirring up more trouble. Where did Cambius go, Bianca? Well, he left the hotel, but it could be anywhere. Look, he didn't, he didn't do anything well, saying no. he was on the line. He must have done something because she was three shades of pale Shut when I got Shut up, her. Kendall. Look, I mean it. Everything is just fine. Okay, okay. Okay. Look, your mother's in there in the dining room. She's waiting to get this rehearsal started. Why don't you go in there and join her, okay? Uh, well, are you coming? Well, of course, I'll be there in just a second, okay? Okay. Like, why not? Thanks. I'm so grateful you agreed to speak to me. Look, Lena, nothing has changed between us. I know. And deep down, you know it too. Look, Bianca, I'm afraid I know what's been disturbing you so deeply. It's me. Lena. No, really, I, I've been trying to find reasons why you've cut me out of your life, and then I had to face the truth. You, you still don't feel like you can trust me. That's why you broke it off, and I, and I don't blame you after all the misery I've caused. I've tried to change my life around, to make it feel safer for you, to make it feel like you can give yourself to me completely, but I can't help feeling that I haven't gone far enough. Until now. Uh, Bianca, I want these rings to be a symbol of the trust between us. I want to show you that my commitment to you is real. As real and as undying one shed between your mother and your Uncle Jack. I don't want any promises, and I don't even expect you to keep your ring if you don't want to. See, I, I'll wear mine as a symbol of my love for you, and if you like, I, I'll hold on to yours until you're ready. I was just so anxious to show you that my feelings for you are real and honorable. Please, let these Rings be the first step towards some kind of a future together. Bianca, would you do the, me the honor, please? Lena. This is... It's incredible. I can't accept them, or you. Please. No, Bianca, just give me one no, more chance. No, there's no more chances, okay? It's not gonna happen. We're never gonna be together again. I don't understand. I thought that... Everything has changed now, Lena. Everything. I'm sorry you guys are in the middle of something. Um, how about I just catch you later? No, thank no, you. No, don't, don't, don't go. It's okay. Lena and I are done. Bianca, we have so much more to say. I think Bianca said that you're done. I'm sorry, you're not her girlfriend. And neither are you, looks like. Bianca! We're just about to sit down for dinner. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I, I can't right now. I, I have to pass. 
Bianca, I am not going to let Lena spoil no, this evening. No, it's Lena, okay? I, I just need to spend some time with Maggie right now. Please, come on, honey. Change your mind. Join us for dinner, Sorry, please. Mom, I just need to hang out with Maggie right now. All right, well, promise me that you, you'll eat something. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll get some burgers. I'll take care of her. All right, then. I'll, I'll see you back in the apartment. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bianca, <laughs> what are we doing in this whole thing? Can I get a diet cola and vodka, please? Maggie, they don't card me. Actually, can you make that too? I'm pissed. Okay, this is a dive bar. It got out of this fear. What do you think? Yeah, and bugs and vipers, I promised her mom that I'd get you something edible. God. All right, here. Bon appetit. Thank you, kind sir. What is going on with you? Why are you drinking? Mm, mm, mm. Nothing, please don't ask me that anymore. Hello, best friend Maggie, don't you remember? Okay, hello, best friend. Here to get away from Lena and my mother, so please don't morph into them, okay? Hey, hey, can we get this party cranked up here? Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, slow down. Uh -uh. Now you please lighten up. I just want to have fun here, remember? Remember fun? Yeah, remember when we used to be able to tell each other, each other everything? Oh. No secrets? Maggie, there were always secrets. Always. <sighs> no, no I, I really don't I think that we should. I don't think that the, the biker music. boys are ready for I us to make the scene. I don't care, Maggie. I just want to dance. I don't. Oh. Oh. Okay, right? They didn't hurt you. 
saved you. You promise me? I I'm fine. You. I swear. Yes, you okay. saved me, okay? okay? Oh, my God, I've never seen you this drunk before. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, where are you going? No, I have to go home. I have to go back to my mom's place. No, no you don't. Yeah, I do. Meg, it's, it's her wedding tomorrow to Uncle Jack. She needs me. <laughs>